just snoring alone can be a health issue. It impacts every area of your life. You just don't know what to do or how to stop it. It's the nighttime nightmare, leaving couples getting up on the wrong side of the bed. Very disturbing. I think I felt up just as tired as he did. Snoring. 40% of Australian women and 60% of men suffer. Clive Cass is just one of them. I've been snoring for years and, and um, you know, when you go with friends away, they complain and tell you. Sleeping in separate beds was partner Annie's only solution. And then you think, oh, what have I done to interrupt her sleep? And, uh, and that doesn't make you feel too good. Most of the time it will affect the partner more than it will affect the snorer. It can make you very resentful, angry, uh, irritable. Psychologist Eliza Hatton says snoring is one of the greatest causes of stress in relationships. I've heard pillows over the head, earplugs, sleeping in separate rooms, punching their partner or pinching their partner to get them to wake up so they stop snoring. And while half of us snore to some extent, only 5% have sought help. Deal with it, it doesn't bother me, I'm getting a good night's sleep. Other people have to put up with snoring husbands. The sound keeping couples up all night occurs when the airway closes over and collapses, the tongue slipping back, creating a vibration. If you can imagine you know, like someone snoring like a chainsaw or train next to one, that can certainly upset the relationship. Dr Robert Del Cano from Dent Sleep says sleeping disorders can increase your risk of high blood pressure and stroke. It can be very detrimental to the health, even in terms of mortality. Clive also suffers from sleep apnea, a condition where sleepers stop breathing. During that time there's no air getting into their lungs and their brain is not getting oxygenated and that can have effects during the day. Just very wakeful, I've never got a, a, a solid sleep right through the night. Dr Del Cano says he's putting the problem to bed. It's called mandibular advancement splint and what it is is a special mouth guard that holds the jaw forward while you sleep. The mouth guard gently adjusts and holds your lower jaw forward, moving your tongue out of the way and preventing your throat from constricting or collapsing. By opening your upper airway, it will allow for unrestricted breathing throughout the night and a peaceful sleep for you and your partner. I would be up three or four times a night. Um, and now I was up once or not at all, sleep right through. If somebody had told you that this appliance will completely stop your snoring, you go, yeah, right. Well, it is right. Clive now sleeps peacefully and has even more energy during the day. The night I got it, um, I tried it and it was effective immediately and he was just surprised. And, uh, and so was I, I've got to admit. And it's brought the pair back together. There's never been a disturbed night since he's been wearing the uh, appliance. And Annie's just happy she's only making one bed in the morning made a, quite an impact on us. I mean, I used to be so grumpy during the day, <laughs> didn't I? Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> and you don't want to be grumpy. Simple ways to reduce snoring include quitting smoking, avoid alcohol and sleeping pills, exercising, and if you're overweight, dropping some kilos. If someone is snoring badly and other people are commenting on it, I would say as a general rule that it should be checked out.